you folks. Just coming at you from a little camping trip that we're taking in, uh, down by uh, Pueblo, Colorado. And uh, I always, <clears throat> whenever I travel, I try to figure out which, uh, which banjo I want to take with me. And, um, I kind of want to take one that I'm not too concerned about. And uh, so this time I took my uh, banjo that I picked up for 20 bucks on uh, <clears throat> I guess it was Craigslist or something a few months ago and it's a stainless steel like I don't know 12 inch 12 inch pot and um, when I got it it was in shambles it, it was uh, actually the, the the wood piece in the middle here can't remember what you call that thing uh, was the wrong piece and wasn't attached properly so I had to had to make a new piece in there and uh, also make a new tail piece and a bridge and uh, I had to kind of re, re, reposition the uh, yeah the the neck piece coming through the pot so that I could get some some decent action out of it but this is i think this is like a probably a 1920s or 30s style very, very inexpensive banjo by the company called belltone not really sure even if the uh if the pot goes with the neck but um i did find online some of these uh some belltones that had these steel steel pot rims and um so i'm kind of thinking maybe it belongs together Anyway, it's a beat up old thing, kind of cracked, cracked uh, um, the surface of the fretboard and some of the, that last little fret is all coming loose and stuff, but uh, when I got it sort of, um, did a little work on it and uh, I'm really just really pleased. I was telling my wife today, I think my favorite banjo is always the one I'm playing. <laughs> so I really, uh, having a good time out here uh, on the lakeside some windsurfing and uh, playing banjo a little bit so uh, hey I realized the wind was kind of blowing and messing up the sound quality a little bit so I just thought I'd splice in a little bit here that was unhearable in the previous version but uh, yeah you will have noticed on the back of this thing this uh, <laughs> jerry rig that I did um, I have an older banjo from the 18, 1890s, actually, a, a American Princess by the SS Stewart Company that I picked up and have really enjoyed. And it has a, way back in the day, the, uh, in the late 1800s, they had a, a design that Stewart came up with, I guess, that was a stainless steel sort of adjustable mechanism at the back of the instrument that allows you to very easily change the, the action of the the pot and the the, uh, the fretboard and get better action on the strings so you know, I'll show that sometime in a future video but um, I was trying to get the action better on this and thought hey I could just buy a turnbuckle which I I did online and uh, when it arrived I was a bit surprised at how heavy duty it was the picture made it look like it was uh, a bit uh, less heavy duty which isn't what I was really looking for but um, so it is, it, uh, fit in there pretty well. I made a little metal clip, uh, that, uh, just a piece of metal that slips onto the, the wood there. And then when the turnbuckle pulls against it, it just grabs. And, uh, then I drilled a hole in the side of the pot to run the other side of the turnbuckle through and backed out one of the screws that was holding the, the neck. I think they did a neck repair at some point where the heel, the heel must have broken off. And uh, it's amazing, just a slight hand twist of of that little thing um, changes the neck. You could probably break the neck right off with that thing. It's so industrial, but uh, it's kind of nice. It adds a little industrial uh, twist to this uh, already rather industrial looking looking banjo. So. Anyway, that's the bell tone. 
It actually does have a rather bell-like tone with this uh, with this steel pot. So thanks for watching.